Hello, it's Doug from Behind Closed Doors, and today we're having a look at what Sky News says about Andrew Tate by asking the question, who is Andrew Tate? Let's get into the video. Says attack. He's called himself the king of toxic masculinity, but now controversial influencer Andrew Tate has been arrested in Romania. Here is everything you need to know. Right, this is a 1 minute 55 second clip. Who is Andrew Tate? This is everything you need to know. You don't need to know anything else. This is all you need to know, all right? Shut the fuck up, listen for two minutes. Well, it's a minute and 50, 50 seconds now. This is all you need to know. Let me just prepare for my indoctrination. Raised in Luton, Andrew Tate was a professional kickboxer. He was cast in Big Brother in 2016, but was ejected from the house after a video emerged of him appearing to attack a woman with a belt, something he denies. Also, something that the woman herself denies, saying that it was a sex play. Hello everyone, um, I just wanted to say something about the video that's been released recently about me and my ex-boyfriend Andrew Tate. Andrew is my still great friend, what you guys saw on the video, it's just what we used to do, it was just pure game. He's a great guy, he would never hurt anyone. Here I am again for the second time, yes, the woman he has been up. And the same woman who has made a statement is me. So I'm coming forward for the second time to just clarify and let everybody know it was nothing but a sex play, consensual foreplay that we like doing, that I was into, that I wanted. It was just pure game. He's a great guy. He would never hurt anyone. So she denies it and he denies it. Maybe because it's not true. Maybe because two consensual adults can have fun in the bedroom. And when you ask Andrew Tate about why he was kicked off Big Brother, the reason, the real reason, he says... Um, so you're on Big, you, you're on Big Brother yeah. and um, you got kicked pulled out. out, yeah, kicked yeah. off. Because um, of the sex video, because you no. just talked... Oh, uh, that's not why I kicked off. Here's okay. the real reason I got kicked off. Okay. So that video, that girl from the sex video, there's actually been, if you Google Andrew Tate's girlfriend, there's been articles since where she's gone to the papers and said that was all fake. So that's the first thing. So everyone goes, you're a woman beater. Well, the girl herself's come out and said it's fake. But then everyone goes, you paid her to say that. So you can't, you can't please these trolls. So I don't even bother yeah. refuting it anymore. Um, I'm still good friends with her. I was with her yesterday. So, mm -hmm. and this is like two, three years ago. Mm -hmm. So we're still good friends anyway. The real reason I got kicked out of Big Brother is because I was too good at triggering everyone. So what happened was I was only in there for about nine days and four people walked out and every single man in there at some point had threatened me with violence. So they took me into the diary room and they said, we're really concerned about the dynamic of the house. This is all off camera. Yeah, yeah. I was like, well, you, well, the rules of Big Brother, we all signed a contract saying no one's allowed to make threats. I'm not threatening anybody. All these people are threatening me. You need to shut down their threats. I'm like, yeah, but people, you know, you're very controlled and they're more emotional and we just want to guarantee that in the event of an altercation, you won't hit anybody. So basically they said, okay. we've got a whole bunch of idiots in here who can't control themselves, children. And if they swing for you, we want you to fl play Floyd Mayweather and do nothing about it for four and a half <laughs> minutes while security turns up. I said, no, I'm not going to start an argument, but if they're going to swing at me, they're going to get knocked the fuck out. I don't know if there's two of them going to attack me. I ain't get my, getting punched on TV. I don't know what's going on. I don't know this guy. Maybe he knows something. Who the fuck? If you yeah. swing at me, I'm taking you out. So that's, that's my position. Okay. I'm not going to start it, but you know, as soon as they start running their mouth, you better send security in advance because I'm taking them out the game. And they, they must have sat around, all the producers sat around and thought, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Over the next three months, this is going to happen. Yeah, and so he's going to hurt be. them bad because they're all yeah. weaklings with big yeah. mouths. And, they, and because literally everybody was getting triggered and threatening me, like not just one, all of them, they thought. Were we you want? enjoying that? I, I didn't give a shit. Yeah. I, it's not even enjoyment. I just don't just care. Did, yeah, just yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. You know? yeah. So they, they sat and thought, this is a liability. We've got to get this guy out of here. So they, they used the sex tape as an excuse. Okay. So it was all bullshit. Yeah, because they really made out you'd beaten the woman up well, the it's, early reports. Well, it's bullshit because yeah. the girl came forward and said it wasn't true. And they had a dominatrix in the house. And in, in, at the same time, Laura and Marco had a belt and were hitting each other on the show. It's all bullshit. Yeah, they didn't give a yeah, fuck about yeah. that. They just thought, this guy, man, this, this guy's too much for this show. He's yeah. too smart for these motherfuckers. We've got to get him out of here. So they kicked him off the show, save kicking everyone else off the show. As we all know, reality doesn't matter. All that matters is what Sky News tell us. So let's get back into the video. To attack a woman with a belt, something he denies. Tate started to gain notoriety for his controversial and misogynistic posts on social media. I like the way they just slip that in. Controversial. Who says it's controversial? A lot of the stuff that he says isn't controversial. If you actually listen to what he says, instead of taking a soundbite, what he says in context makes perfect sense. Even if you disagree with it, you can't deny the logic of it. Water's wet. There you go, that's controversial. Because sometimes water isn't wet, Doug. Sometimes it's frozen. That's the controversial argument. Water isn't always wet. 
It's like, yeah, but water is wet as well. Like, there's a point there. Who gets to decide if Andrew Tate is controversial or not? Who gets to decide that and tell us that? And misogynist. They just slip that in there, don't they? They're just telling you how to think about him so that you don't have to decide for yourself. If you're listening to someone, you can go, do you know what? That sounds a bit racist. Do you know what? That sounds a bit sexist. Do you know what? That guy seems a bit off his fucking rocker. You can get to decide for yourself, but they don't want you thinking for yourself. They are going to tell you everything that you need to know in less than two minutes, what you need to know about Andrew Tate so that you don't have to think for yourself. Once suggesting women bear some responsibility for being raped. He is denied. Let's just cut the rape bit out. Women should bear responsibility. Just tap the rape off the end of it for a minute. Women should bear responsibility for their, the decisions that they make in their life. Do you agree with that? If you agree with that, then it's not very controversial, is it? What's controversial is the topic of rape. That's a very controversial topic. Women should bear the responsibility of getting into a fight. Men have to. Like, I've never been in a, in a street fight where I've been really injured because I bear responsibility for my own safety. So discouraging to me because when I arrived in college in 1964, I came out of this highly repressive uh, period of the 1950s where like, Doris Day defending her virginity was like the dominant theme in Hollywood movies. And, there, and my generation, just after the, the introduction of, the, of, the, of you know, the birth control pill, which finally allowed women to control their sexuality for the first time in you know, millennia, um, it, it, we fought back against these in local parentis rules, the parietal rules. Uh, and I, you know, I often tell the story of how I went my first semester in college in 1964, uh, we women had to sign in to our dormitories at 11 o'clock at night, whereas the, in the men's dormitories, the men could run free the entire night. And we, it, it was like so obviously and blatantly uh, you know, un unfair. Uh, we felt like prisoners, uh, uh, being like a, as if we were living in a convent, for heaven's sakes. So, so we are the ones who demanded um, the, the discarding of the parietal rules. And the, the colleges said to us, okay, you know, the world is dangerous. We, we must protect you uh, against rape. Okay? And, and what we said was, we want freedom. We want the freedom to risk rape. That is what my generation fought for. He has denied holding misogynistic views, but has also described himself as the king of toxic masculinity. Maybe because misogynistic and toxic masculinity are two completely different things. His views and the backlash he faced led to him gaining a larger audience and adoring supporters. His but, you know, you're going to talk about misogyny. This phrase, toxic masculinity, what about toxic femininity? Or is that misogynistic? But isn't it misandrous to say toxic masculinity? By giving him the label of toxic masculinity, isn't that misandrist? And isn't misandry equally as bad as misogyny? And the backlash he faced led to him gaining a larger audience and adoring supporters. Well, maybe it's the, the views that he has, or maybe it's the fact that he's a credible businessman that can build up a following due to his marketing campaigns. Who knows? He's the most Googled man on the planet. Maybe he's good at marketing. No? No, it's just because he's misogynistic. Banned from Twitter, but this didn't stop him. He's allowed back on the app in November 2022. Yeah, being banned from Twitter didn't stop him from expressing his opinions. Like, he needs to be stopped for having a view. 2022. Tate was also banned from Facebook, Instagram, YouTube and TikTok, but his content is still being shared. The hashtag Andrew Tate on TikTok has been viewed billions of times, with many worrying about his influence over young people online. Yeah, the problem is with Andrew that he gets young people to think for themselves, and they don't want young people thinking for themselves. They just want them watching a two-minute clip off Sky News so they can tell them how to think so they don't have to bother thinking for themselves. Recently, Tate sparked a row with Greta Thunberg. A row with Greta Thunberg. We can't stop Andrew Tate. Send in Greta Thunberg. <laughs> On Twitter, he sent the climate activist a picture saying he owned 33 cars and asked for email. Thunberg responded with a fake email address mocking him and ending with the words getalife.com. Greta was talking about penises. Yeah, she said something about small dick as well. That was a bit inappropriate. Wasn't that a bit misandrous of old Greta Bumberclut there? No? Wasn't that misandry? No? <laughs> if he'd have called her a little slut, I'm sure that would have been misogynistic. Isn't misandry just as bad as misogyny? No? So do we call her a misandrist? Tate and his brother Tristan have now been arrested in Romania on suspicion of human trafficking, 
rape and forming an organized crime group. Hi guys, so regarding the Tate's arrest, the Romanian prosecutor has added two girls to the victim list simply because they were just close to the Tate's. The very same two girls came forward repeatedly saying that they're no victims and they even said that to the prosecutor. The prosecutor is just now adding people to the victim list because they're desperate. They don't even have enough evidence to bring it towards in a trial. They're holding him to look for the evidence and they're using fake people as victims. They have absolutely no evidence. There are no victims. Therefore, there's absolutely zero crime. I'm making a public request for the court to remove me as a victim from the case file. Neither me nor Beatrice are victims in this case. Ever since I found out that we are set as victims in the files, I've been telling the court to remove me, but they choose to ignore it and refuses to do so. There are no victims in this case, and I am not a victim. And I feel it's very unfair that my family and friends are being held as prisoners for crimes they didn't commit and also it's just for political points and it's very unfair to see that the government and the authorities do nothing about it but only see it in their best interest yep and the girls that come forward have said please take me off the victim list when have you ever heard that of women coming forward saying please i don't want to be a victim <laughs> The brothers have been under criminal investigation since April and have previously denied any wrongdoing. Tate was heard saying the Matrix has attacked me as he was escorted away. Yeah. Like, so far, Andrew's just kind of denied everything and there's been no proof of anything. So, yeah. It's fucking bollocks, isn't it? The world's fucking crazy. Hello, my name is Doug and I've created a video tutorial called What to Message a Girl for Online Dating Success. The reason why I've created this product is to help those men out there who are dating online but are not getting the replies or getting the dates that they desire. My product will teach you what to message a girl, what not to message a girl, when to message a girl, how to respond when you're not sure what to write, what to do if she doesn't reply, how to get her phone number, and how to communicate to get online dating success. If you're getting matches and no success, this product is for you. It's what you need to do today to start getting success with your matches. I'll also be talking about other issues such as how to spot red flags, identify time wasters, to stay out the friend zone, how to deal with ghosting, simmering, and icing. Not only will I be giving you exactly what you need, copy and paste, I'll also be explaining to you the reason why I'm writing what I'm writing so you can understand the psychology and know what behaviours to look out for and which ones to avoid. This product is packed with value. I've tried to cram as much as I can into a short amount of time as possible while being the most informative. If you're a man and you're confused and frustrated with what to text with online dating, this product is the solution for you to get more dates in less time. Click the link in the description box below to buy the product and change your dating life forever.